Hello buddies, how are you all? Welcome back. So today we are going to see the next chapter, addition in Max. Okay. So what do you guys know about addition? We know that counting all the numbers together, right? When you have two apples and if I have one apple, how much is the total apples? Three apples, right? So this is how you do addition. So we will see some advanced level of addition. That means we are going to see new ones things under thousand place. Okay, fine. So let's move on to the topics that we are going to see in this chapter. So the first thing that we are going to see is addition of two four digit numbers without regrouping. For example, if there is a four three two one, this is a four digit number which is ones, tens, under, thousand. Fine. So what they are asking is two four digit number. This is the first four digit number. The second four digit number will be like this. Okay. So what do you mean by regrouping? Regrouping is, so we are going to add, so regrouping is, there is no carry on, there is no carry over, okay, there is no carry over in the, without regrouping, okay, if we add 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, is there any carry on over here? No. So that's what we call it as without regrouping. Fine. So the second topic is about it is not without, it is with regrouping. Okay. Addition of two four digit numbers with regrouping. With regrouping is we are going to do carry over. Okay, we are going to do carry over. Fine. Then the third topic is addition of three four digit number. 3, 4 digit number, let me take example, first 4 digit number, then second 4 digit number, then the third 4 digit number. We are going to add all this, okay. So, there will be 3 4 digits number, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 4 digit numbers, 4 digit is 1, 10, 100 and 1000, fine, this is how you will go. Do it for the addition of three four digit numbers. What about the fact of addition? The next topic is about fact of addition. It's about um, when you add a number with 0, 10, under 1000, what happens to the answer? That's what we see in the fact of addition. Then the last topic that we see in this chapter is number stories. Number stories are nothing but we are going to see some word problems based on addition. Fine. So, this is all the topics that we are going to see in this chapter, addition. So, let me just give you a introduction with a recap. So, what this, what I have written in a question is, one tens, there is only two digits I have given you. Okay, this you could have learned in a third grade. Okay, so now I am teaching for the fourth grade. This is a basic thing that you have learned in the third grade. Okay. So, okay. So, let me give you a recap of your third grade. What we have given is 59 plus 6. Okay. So, 9 is in the place of 1. 6 in the place of 1. 9 plus 6. How do you add 9 plus 6? 9 plus 6 is... So, I don't know how your school teachers teach you to add. But uh, for the basic third grade, I used to teach with drawing the lines. Okay, drawing the lines. The first number is 9. So, I tell the students to draw a line for 9. Okay, so draw 9 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, fine. 9 is done? Yes. Then what about 6? Draw 6 lines in the next. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now count all the lines. Now count all the total lines. Count all the total lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. We have got 15 as a total. So, what we have to do? We have to write the last number down. First number up. Okay. Remember one thing. Last number down. First number up. Okay. Remember this. Remember this. Uh, okay. First number up. Okay. Last number down. First number up. Fine. So, we can remember by, by remembering this. Last number down. First number up. Okay. So, 15. So, how do you write 15? What I have written is last number down. First number up. What is the last number here? 5. 5 down, 1 up. Okay, 1 you are going to write on the up. Fine. So, last number down, first number up. Last number down, first number up. Okay. So, you will do this in addition, subtraction, multiplication, everything we are going to follow this. Click. Okay. Last number down, first number up. Fine. So, 15. So, 5 down, 1 up. Then, what you're going to do is add 1 also with 5. Okay. So, 1 plus 5 is 6. Okay. So, the answer is 65. Fine. So, this is how you do for the 1s and 10s. Okay. I mean addition. Fine. So, let me move on to the 3 digits. We have given you 3 digits. 1s, 10s, hundred. How to do this? The same concept. Okay. So, 5 plus 0 is anything added with 0. Anything added with 0, the answer will be the number. The answer will be the number. Okay. Anything added with 0, the answer will be the number. And also, 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay. 0 plus 0 is 0. Fine. So, this 2 is very important in addition. So, if you add anything with 0, the answer will be a number. And if you add 0 with a 0, the answer will be a 0. Fine. Okay. So, let's move on to the second sum. 5 plus 0 is, as I told, as I told you, if you add um, any number with a 0, the number is an answer. So, 5 is an answer. Then, 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is 10. So, we have got 10. So, how to write 10? If you have two numbers, you are going to write... Uh, Last number down, first number up. What is the last number? Zero. Last number down, first number up. Fine. So, this is how you do for the two numbers, which is a carry over. Okay. Fine. So, let's move on to the third digit, which is 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Fine. Then, so this is how you are going to do for the three digits. Next, 7 plus 8 is, how much is the 7 plus 8? I am just counting it <coughs> on my own. But what you guys have to do is, draw lines and count the total. Okay, what you have to do is, draw lines and count the total. Fine. So, for the first initial few days, you do like this. After you are very thorough with the addition, you can count with your hands. Okay. Fine. So, 7 plus 8 is 15. Okay. So, 15. How to write 15? There are two numbers. So, last number down, first number up. Last number down, first number up. Okay. Fine. Then, 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. So, Last number down, first number up. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3. That's it. Okay. It's very easy, right? What is the first step that I told you? I'll drop this. So the first step is add, sorry, draw lines. Okay. Draw lines. And the second step is count total lines. Count total lines. 
Then the third step is this is the third step. This is the third step, which is if you have two numbers, which is 10, 15, what you're going to do is write the last number down, first number up. This is the third step that you're going to do. Okay. So what are the three steps? Draw lines, count total lines. Then if there is a two number, I mean two digits, what you're going to do is write a last number down, first number up. Okay, and the one more thing that I told you is when you add anything with a zero, the number is an answer. And if you add zero with zero, zero is an answer. Okay, fine. Let's do some example sums. Okay, so let's do the first one. Six plus zero is six. Three plus one is four. Okay, this is very easy. There is no carry over over here. Okay, fine. So, the next sum is 4 plus 8. What is 4 plus 8? Draw, four, what is the first step that I told you? Draw lines for the 4. Then draw lines for the 8. Then count the total lines. If you count the total lines, if there is a 2 digit, what are you going to do? Write the first one down, sorry, last down, first step. Last down, first step. Okay, so 4 plus 8 is 12. So, how to write 12? How to write 12? Last digit, last down, first step. Right? That's what you see in your right. Last number down, first number up. So, last number 2. First number 1, which is up. Okay, fine. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 4 is why I am writing 10 over here? Why there, why there is no carry over? Because there is no digit over here. Okay, there is no third digit in the sum. If there is a third digit, you can do a carry over. If there is no digit, so you are going to write as it is. Fine. Okay. Then, what about the three digits? We have got uh, three numbers with two digits. So, we are going to add 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 0 is 6. Right. Anything you add with 0, the number is an answer. Fine. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay. So, again and again I am saying you draw lines and count the total lines. Okay. So, I am very thorough with addition. So, I can do it. You are in initial state. So, draw lines, count the lines, count the total lines and do the uh, last number down, first number up. Okay, if there is a two digits. Fine. Okay. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay. Then, next Question is 0 plus 7 is anything added with 0, the answer is a G. Answer is a number. So 7. 6 plus 1 is 7. Here we doesn't have any number. Okay, here we, we doesn't have any number. So we can so if there is a no number, so we consider it as a 0. Okay, so 3 plus 0 is 3. Fine. So the next one is 2 plus 4 is 6. 8 plus 5 is 13. So, how to write 13? 3 down, 1 up. Okay. Then 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay. If there is no numbers over the place, there is no numbers here, so you consider it as a 0. Okay. You, have, you should consider it as a <coughs> 0. Okay. Fine. So, let's move on to the next sum. 7 plus 2 is 9. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. It's very easy, right? There is no carry over here. Then, 6 plus 7 is 13. So, last number down, first number up. Okay. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 7, 14. So, last number down, first number up. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. Fine. So, this is how you do the 
sum for the addition. Okay. If there is a carryover, write the last number down, first number up. 